Brothers and sisters, are we not blessed to be part of this five-day Bearers of Life District Convention? We think that we are in the time of the end. This can be seen by the current outbreak of such websites as myspace.com, Facebook, and others of Satan's snares and traps. Please give your undivided attention to Brother Rowdy of the North Fremont Congregation in San Francisco while he addressed the internet foe or phallic symbol. Brother Brody, you have our undivided attention. Thank you, Brother Williamson. Brothers and sisters, are we not blessed to be here at this monumentous, joyous, five-day district convention of Jehovah's Witnesses. Please turn in your Bible with me, if you will, to start with to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And here in verse 3 and 4, the Apostle Paul has just got to Corinth. He is counseling them on not forsaking them from themselves, the togetherness of themselves. And he states here, Brothers, do not be misled. Filthy people destroy healthy habits. This is profound in considering the material that we're going over today. There is an uprising of Satan's snares and I'm not talking about a drum in this case. I am talking about Satan the devil using every trick he has to entice us, to invite us in as if he's our friend, to show us all the treasures of the world, as it were. This is something we need to not only be aware of, but I would suggest we should lose some serious sleep over it. Please turn with me to another scripture. Here this is Jesus admonishing Peter in the Garden of Gethsemane. He says, Get behind me, Satan, for you are a heel in my side and a thorn in my waist. Now this could seem like serious admonition coming from uh, Christ Jesus in this particular case, but if we really deconstruct what is going on here, we can see that the counsel is not only lovingly given, but furthermore uplifting in every respect. Do you not agree that the elders, given their position and appointment by Jehovah, are a blessing to each and every one of us that we can come to them with any problem and they will consult with Jehovah God himself and bless us? We have here with us young brother Danielson who has experienced what it's like to be enticed by Satan and his hordes of demons. And this happened uh, recently, in, uh, and it had to do with Facebook. W would you uh, fill us in on what happened there, son? Well, Brother Davidson, well, I was trying to pursue my career in spiritual upliftment, and regular pioneering, I fell into the trap of looking on the internet. I thought it was just to find friends. I thought it was just to keep in touch with friends. And it seemed like that at first. What do you mean? Did things start getting serious? Well, 
my time in field service really started to drop off. I started eating very unhealthy snacks. I started masturbating in my room when no one was around. Well, Brother Danielson, it sounds like you had yourself a Satan sandwich, so to speak. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Anyway, as I was on Facebook, I noticed one of the sisters had a cleavage shot, which I promptly masturbated to again. You don't say. I do say. Furthermore, I was reprimanded by the body of elders, and I'm so thankful for that. And I just want to express my deep gratitude and to also warn the other brothers and sisters who are trying to regular pioneer of the snares of Facebook. Thank you, Brother Danielson. Isn't it prudent then to keep on our watch, as Paul said, for the end of the system of things is upon us. Now, Satan comes to us in many ways. Uh, pornography being a, a big hitter in this day and age. Uh, he also comes in other forms such as, uh, you know, whatever you can think of, basically. We need to therefore be on our watch and be steadfast as we guard our hearts and let Jehovah's light shine through us. Are we not glad, brothers and sisters, that we can let our light shine in this time of the end? Let me close by reading the scripture. This one's from Numbers. I'm sorry, Deuteronomy. And this is chapter 13, verse 2. And here it simply states, For Jehovah will kill you in your sleep if you do not adhere to the written word, and he will slay your sons and your daughters and your daughters' sons. That promptly sums up what we are discussing here about the internet really being a vice and a tool of Satan himself instead of anything useful that has done anything but bring our world more down into the pits of Satanity and Christendom-like activities. I would like to sum up by saying Please lift your heads to Jehovah and find your refuge in his waters of truth. Thank you. Thank you very much for that informative and very uplifting part on how we can really keep our guard in this time of the end. Please do not park on Geneva Avenue, brothers and sisters. What the fuck? How many times have we said this? Your car will be broken into. Moving on, please do not leave your children unattended in these gold seats. God damn it, I saw three of them fall through there, and all you motherfuckers are just sitting there like nothing's going on. Do not leave your children unattended in the goddamn gold seats. Thank you. Uh, the next part will be given by Brother Iteraldi from the Maramonte Central Congregation. He'll be speaking to us on... The Snares of Sodomy, a rising issue with teens today. Brother Iteraldi, you have our undivided attention. <laughs>